So we just came down from Grandfather Mountain. And for those of you who don't know, that's a Highland Games, one of the biggest in the country. And so uh, it's okay with you guys, because we're kind of in mode. Um, we'd like to do something Celtic for you. And we'd like to do something in Gaelic, if that's all right. If you're by the way, the guys are usually wearing dresses, kilts, but they're all wet. We take the name from Celtic mythology, 
We swiped it, we stole it, we openly admitted it. And, um, <laughs> it's rock and roll. Um, we are, so you know, if you don't know, this is actually my family, and I'm gonna introduce them really quick, usually we save that for later, but I want everybody to know. This is legitimately my family, welcome to my family. I wanna meet yours in just a little bit. On the far right, on the guitar over there, that's my son, my real life baby boy, Brandon Mulligan. My daughter on the bass, Tasia. Stand up. My daughter-in-law, this is Nikki. Back in the back, this is my favorite person in the whole world. This is my wife, Rebecca. This is Rebecca's sister, my sister-in-law, Kathy. This is my daughter's husband. This is Lane. Chris. Oh, and down here on the floor, this is Chris. <laughs> this is my sister-in-law's husband, making him my brother-in-law. There you go. So anyway, uh, this is a song we wrote back um, on our first CD. We've had it for a while. It's uh, I haven't played it in a while. We're gonna see what happens. We're just gonna start playing it and see what happens.
close enough for Irish stuff. All right, in Ireland, if we were to do this correctly, we would hold something up in the air, whatever you like, and we would say on the count of three, we would say the word slancha. One, two, three. Slancha! And then you drink. And then you drink some more. And then you keep drinking. Let's try something Irish just for kids. So this was something we found that had been passed down through the generations 
this one particular song. We didn't know how far back it went. Just knew that her mother had sang it to her, her mother had sang it to her. So I sang it to my kids, they sang it to their kids. We kept on passing down this generational thing. Well, we, my grandmother passed away, so we did some research. And what we found was uh, the song that my grandmother had been singing as a lullaby to me and that I'd been singing to my kids was an old Irish pub song called Five Nights Drunk. <laughs> well, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, Granny was awesome. So uh, the reason we didn't know this was, anybody know the song Five Nights Drunk? Anybody familiar with it? Okay, if you're not, I'll familiarize you a little bit. Usually if I'm in a, like the last few days we've been at a festival, I had to have kids cover their ears up. I'm still gonna child-proof it a little bit. The song is about a promiscuous woman, and if you feel like you're a little bit promiscuous yourself, ladies, you can yell. And a drunken man, and if you're heading that way, please yell. So promiscuous women, we got one. Drunken men, we got a few more drunken men. Promiscuous, promiscuous women. Ladies are outnumbered. <laughs> Drunken men. Woo! They're at least louder. We got that. I got you. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what the song is about. And uh, <laughs> what happens in the song, I'll tell you the storyline on it. This guy, he's drunk every night at the pub. He comes home and he finds his wife in his home in various states and forms of disarray. And, uh, She's consistently able to, uh, to uh, talk him out of it, um, even though he catches her. So anyway, that's what the song is about. My grandmother, she had child-proofed it, so she changed the words. That's why we had so much trouble finding out what the song really was, uh, where it came from. We changed the melody line, and uh, Five Nights Drunk has now become Granny's Bedtime Time. Let's go. 
Yes, yes, yes. My grandmother was a very cool lady. A little piece of ripped off music, it's not Celtic on any level whatsoever. But I do need your help in getting it going. And we got all these gym bass, we got all these drums, we're a rhythm based band. But what we need from you, we need you to cut your rhythms loose a little bit. This way, it's like that. Bring it.
So you like the stolen stuff, do you? Can we get tribal? You guys get tribal with us?
to five. Oh my. I don't like the looks on the faces back here. I can't see them. Good I can. Yeah, we've been a family. Yeah, if we weren't doing this, we'd still be stuck together. So we figured we'd do this instead. It's a lot of fun. This next song that we'd like to do for you is uh, on our brand new CD, which is, by the way, <clears throat> for sale. Right over here at this table with all of a plethora of all of our stuff, including drums, three CDs, patches, a cajon, yep, which is actually right there, shirts. In a movie. Yeah. I'm the comic relief. That's what I am. <laughs> Dude, there's been like a constant hovering cloud over Mother Nature is bipolar. I truly feel this. She needs some antidepressants. So Maybe a boyfriend. Either way. This is a huge. You know that they got they got hand fast. Did you do that? You just congratulated. This is a this is called the hand fasting song. This is the Irish hand fasting song that was written for the hand fast. For those of you who don't know what a hand fasting is, it's kind of like a wedding. You ever see the movie Braveheart? Yeah, it's the party they have. They they used to party with the wedding. We're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. You ready, Chris? My brother, Chris Bush.
Thank you, because you guys were there. Sporting a wonderful drive to Wazadia t-shirt. I see. I got a new CD too. We had a we had a opportunity to bring back a song that we hadn't done in a couple of years. And we brought it back into the set list and we thought, well, you know, if we're gonna bring it back in, let's just bring it in as strong as we possibly can. And when I'm gonna do something strong in this band, by the way, in case you guys some of you guys have already figured this out. I'm dad, right? I mean, these are my kids and stuff for the most part, except for my wife back here, my brother. Grandpa. I don't know where they're at. I don't look. You know, they're always family tree goes one branch. Thing. Anyway, whenever we want to speed something up or make it crank it up or crank it up, because the age group here, we vary in age from 50 all the way down to uh, 21. Wow. Yeah. Brandon. <laughs> So what I want, well, Brandon's actually 23. He is no longer the baby. Yeah. So um, anyway, I wanted to crank, if I want something to crank up, I turn it over to him, right? So we want to do a song, it's an old song, it's an old Scottish song, um, written by a guy by the name of Robert Burns, who was a famous Scottish poet. Of course, it was a poem, it wasn't really written as a song, a lot of bands have played it. And we've got all these drums and all these uh, electric guitars and stuff. And we thought, let's just see how crazy we can make this song. And I don't know how Robert Burns would feel about what we've done, but we're going to go at it anyway. Are you ready, man? It's called You Jacobites.
bounce around from thing to thing to thing. We uh, just stay constantly confused. We just don't know which instrument we want to play next. <laughs> heard of musical chairs and you know these are musical instruments well we actually do play musical instruments musical chairs are musical instruments we're going to keep it upbeat for you is that good yeah 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 right after this we're going to take a small smidge little break come out and visit for a little while is that okay have a drink with you, is that okay? No, they don't want to drink with us. They don't want to drink with us, honey. Come on, there's Irish out there.
September with these guys too, so spread the word and stuff. White Rabbit? Really? You want us just to jump right to White Rabbit?
<laughs> and we would like to do one more big thing for you guys before we call it a night. Is that okay?
also hand. Come on, thank you guys for If you feel like clapping your hands, give it. <laughs> there you go. Three now. Yeah. And this brother up here has got some mad skills over here. Well, that's it for us, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. Give yourselves a hand, man. That was a lot of fun. <laughs>